is that they wanted more. And unless you're realistically in charge or pushing for more, you can't really just get more. Just because you say you want more. Let's give cut to Baneri. The original, though, she wasn't being there in the beginning of the game. Yeah. Wait. The original issue being that the wild area doesn't look good. Yeah, I will agree with Zeppa. There's a big kind of hate cult for games. And not just gaming, but like, oh, you're not allowed to think this game is good. Or, and in my defense, I'm not saying, I'm trying to advocate for you're not really allowed to say something is bad. It looks perfectly fine if you're just playing the game. If you're not sticking around and staring at the artwork, which is a which is an issue we're seeing a lot nowadays. In not just games, but in anime and comic books and cartoons. Like, well, comic books is a different thing because you do stare at one still image for a long time. But yeah, no, it's it's a lot of headache and heartache. And it looks perfectly fine. Yeah, like... Like, to be very bluntly honest, staring at this game with repetitious houses and... just about everything else. Like, everything looks the same consistently, the only major differences are very short, sweet, and to-the-point changes. Like, uh, originally, red, blue, yellow just had all the same stuff, except the towns changed colors. Gold and silver started adding color. Like, we got more and more developed over the years. And the amount of change and improvement that's come along with it ever since, so ever since red and blue just 20 years ago. Pokemon games have expanded progressively on the weak, weak platforms? Hey, looker. I mean, was there a Pokemon on the Wii? So the more space they took up, the less it looked good. Yeah. And I mean, in these, in these versions of the game, and a lot of the 3DS games, there were locations inside of general maps that just had a bunch of, like grass splotches and stuff that you could look up. And again, and I will say, again, Pokemon definitely needs to improve upon its 3D rendering of everything. Like, that is the hugest issue we are talking about today. And yes, Pokemon really needs to fix a lot of their 3D issues. And I will never disagree with that until they do properly fix it. But it does not warrant ignoring the game. At least not to the level that people are willing to ignore. Well, they don't, it's not even necessarily ignoring it. It is advocating for not buying it. And if you don't buy it, it doesn't improve the next game. Like, view, voice your opinions, ask for improvements, and buy the game if you want to buy the game. It's cool. No worries. <sighs> the most astonishing understanding of meddling won't be tolerated. Double battle! Ugh. But again, I'm enjoying the conversation. <laughs> I like... I like ha honestly, I like having arguments. I live for that shit. <laughs> as long as I can make a logical explanation and a logical argument, I live for good argument. 
If I don't have anything realistically logical to say, I'll probably not say anything. I I try to be good about... Oh, wait, that's ground attack. Uh, swift. Hey, we got matched levels, too. That's awesome. Used wing attack. Ow. And I'm prone... I'm also very prone to defend things I care about. Which is not something I should actively be doing as much as I do. Because it makes me look like an asshole sometimes. Or often. Hey, level 17 Shellos. We're getting somewhere with this. Okay, 91 experience. I also assumed that Sword and Shield wasn't planned, realistically, to go on to the Switch initially. But when the Switch was announced, they shifted gears hard to make it fit to what it needed to be. Like, I feel, like, effectively feel like the Switch should, or not the Switch, but Pokemon Sword and Shield was meant to be on the DS. And yes, I know within that time period, there's... There's all sorts of things they could have known or not known or been informed of while Game Freak was working on it. It's the same with a development company right now. Are they going to be able to get... Like, gaming companies now have gotten access to their PS5s. They've, been ha they've had access to the PS5 for a little while, at least their development side ones. So that means they can use that device to decide how to improve the, or to make their games. But if a game has been in progress of being made for three or four years, or not necessarily an exclusive to the PlayStation, but let's say a project was in being made, porting a project to the PlayStation can be hard. It could be easy. I'm not sure. Yeah, the reduction of sales can, but I can also imagine companies don't care. Crosses the point. Yeah. Like, and I was saying, companies probably don't care that you no longer want to buy their product when... You, that's fine. I Like, I'm making a... Just kind of, uh, maybe they were intent on being on the 3DS, but you don't have like a third, like you don't have this nice little specialized thing where, oh, there's a screen that you pull up now and it does this, that, and the other. Especially. Like the bottom screen on the DS is usually used for side things, like not ne non-necessary things. So I'm sure it probably actually definitely was not supposed to be on the 3DS. But again, it's part of my argument, so... Oh yes, it's porting the models. And I would say... I would... I would say they spent more time making n their new Pokemon models than they spent on worrying about adding other Pokemon. As well as... I mean, math and stuff probably handles itself. There's just numbers of things that need to be looked at about it. So I won't... Like, there's no huge disagreement. At least at this point. Uh, let's see. Let's go up here because I know there was someone to battle up here.
I will also say Sword and Shield didn't give me a sense of exploration like some of the other games do. But there's also the fact that in some of the other games, I don't go back and explore. Like, I honestly enjoy the idea that in Sword and Shield, I can sidetrack into all these corridors and then backtrack into where I was headed. And don't have to, oh, hey, I need to get the bike for this and cut for that and surf for that. Granted, I wish they didn't put the bike guy literally in your path. I would have preferred to be told, hey, you can't ride your you can't walk here, you have to have a bike, just like in the old games. But that's nostalgic. That's a nostalgia idea coming through, not necessarily viable. <sighs> okay, cool. And an X speed. And again, like we've seen already with the DLC, they do intend on just eventually adding the Pokemon. People got super butthurt because they weren't going to add them to the Galar decks. But they never said they weren't going to add the Pokemon. Which is definitely bullshit. <laughs> like, the way they're going about it, like, there's not going to be a National Pokedex, there's not going to be a added to the Galar Pokedex. We have two extra Pokedexes to fill out with the DLC. Like, they went so roundabout to get away with saying it the way they said it. Like, it's, to me, it's a little bit commendable, a little bit devious. And I can commend being devious a little bit. Because devious is fun. Devious can be fun. Ah, jaw. Yeah. But at the same time, backtracking like that? Also, like, let's say I made it all the way into the Elite Four. And, oh, I don't have this TM and that TM. No, they said the only way to access new Pokemon was through new games? I'm confused by what you Oh, for games coming out after. Well, yeah, like, there are certain Pokemon that aren't ever going to be able to move, be moved from Bank onto Sword and Shield. Like, I can see that as being just a thing. Like, effectively... I can definitely see that. But at the same time, I'm also a fan of the fact that if you just wanted to trade for certain Pokemon, you don't have to get the DLC. So effectively, you don't have to buy the DLC f if you have both games. You don't have to buy the DLC for Sword and for Shield. You just have to play the DLC once. Which, it, it was dumb of people to buy both games for themselves at anyways. Like, both games at once for themselves. Do I have an Awakening in my pocket? Did they say it in those terms, though? And essentially, they... And how people will see it is the argument of being, well, yeah, they knew exactly what they were going to add. Like, the Pokémon in-game are set, and they're not going to be changed. Which means that the Pokémon that were decided upon to be in the DLC, which, again, bullshit, bullshit walk, just bullshit talk around stuff, honestly. But yeah, like... 
they knew, they definitely knew that the DLC was coming six months before release. Yeah. Well, I think for the sake of the bank is more of a I want to hold on to this kind of thing. Like, I I really do wish that for po Like, realistically, the Pokemon Bank should be viable to use as a battle. Like, you can PvP out of the Pokemon Bank. And I would be perfectly content with that. But also, they announced that the Pokemon Bank was going to be like that when they announced that Pokemon Bank was going to be a thing. Like, they announced before Pokemon Bank was announced that you're not allowed to move certain Pokemon into Sword and Shield. Like... They're not necessarily hiding stuff. They're just kind of, hey, you're not allowed to do this. You're not going to do that. And it's a way to limit the fact that they're hitting a thousand Pokemon and probably don't want to include every single one in every single game. Like, I find it warranted. Oh, spine. Definitely need to get a nicer chair. A good gaming chair with an actual back. Well, with a back that's tall enough that I can lean against. Like, and what I see the... I can see that too. But a lot of it, I believe, has to do with the fact that... I think even within lore, uh, uh, I don't think even, like, within lore, I think they effectively said, well, yeah, within lore in the game, it is not allowed to bring outside Pokemon into Galar. Which, I know it's, again, like I said, the talk around bullshit that happened. Show us is fast asleep. Yeah. I'm hoping they don't keep up doing this. Yeah. Like, there's certain Pokemon that aren't getting included, certain Pokemon are, and yeah, it's... Like, they had no thoughts of PvP. I, I bet you that. They did not have any thoughts about official, like, true Pokemon battling. There's also some Pokemon that kind of could do with being forgotten. Like, if they're not going to do anything with Jinx other than have it have a baby Pokemon form of itself, they could get rid of Jinx. Come on, Shellos, wake up. And I know Jinx is someone's favorite Pokemon, it's just... Toxapex, yeah, Fairthorn and Toxapex can be their own level of annoyance. And it's what? Uh, which guy is it? It's one of the two, one of the three storm Pokemon, the sandstorm one, that's just, like, flying ground type, or flying rock or whatever, that was used by everyone during one tournament, or one, like, world's tournament. Like, I know it's definitely bullshit <laughs> that they focused on the strategy and stuff, like... Marathorn is ridiculous just because he is a he is a meat shield tank with the ability to super damage you defensive in his defensive state. Oh hey. Didn't realize I had that. Give to Buneary. I don't really have anything to put the XP share on yet, so I'm gonna hold off. I wanna get out of here actually, because my 
Chelos has gone down. It is also fun to use Pokemon you've never used before. That's kind of why I like doing the Gotta Catch Em All series that I've been doing. Yes, I talked about the Pachirisu from Worlds. It was the 2013 Worlds. But yeah, the Pachirisu from Worlds earlier today because I was catching Pachirisu. Like, that's ridiculous. But it can also be done in other measures, I guess. Thank you, let's go. Like, uh, what is it? Oh yeah. Like, um, I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan usually, or, like, I'm not, I was never originally the biggest fan of Bulbasaur, but I grew an attachment to Ivysaur and Venusaur when I walked into Blaine's gym and beat the fire gym leader with an Ivysaur. Like, an underleveled, underpowered Ivysaur that had Toxic, Mega Drain, Absorb, and Giga Drain. Wait, Toxic, Mega Drain, uh, Leech Seed, and Giga Drain. Or maybe it had just a damage attack. I don't fully remember. But all in all, there's always a good... Yeah, no Pokemon should be forgotten. You're honestly right. And I was cruel for saying such things. But I mean, a lot of Pokemon should... Like, as the games move forward, I feel like a lot of Pokemon should be withheld from games. And it just is something... And granted, they're adding most of the new Pokemon now with the DLC. Damned you, Kadabra. Like, all I'm honestly saying is I will always argue that I that there's realistically nothing wrong with the Sword and Shield game. And it is in fully your right if you don't want to support them by not buying the new game. I just really can't help myself. Is this Kadabra gonna sweep my team? I forget how powerful a level 20 Kadabra can be. Good Christ. Oh, right, he's got an X special on him too. Oh, boy. Attack down doesn't really matter here. I Yeah. I mean, they adjust... Oh, come on, you fuckwit. Stop killing everything I have in a single damned shot. Yeah, that doesn't help me... Spark. Like, what? How much does X, X special boost your special? Come on. There we go. Uh, I thought it was puking, actually. I thought toxic was like a secreted gland that they can just puke toxic up. Bite. Uh, bite is a nice move. Let's go with that. You earn, you learn bite immediately after taking on a psychic type. That is useful. But yeah, like they adjusted a bunch of moves, got rid of certain ones that I fe I think they got rid of things that they felt were duplicating moves. Uh, adjusted. Pools and, yes, lore and stuff of Pokemon to learn certain things. But yeah, like, they definitely need to adjust things like that. And I need to go back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> I 
Like in Sun and Moon, one of my favorite Pokemon was actually the Salazzle because of its poison fire typing. Like able to use Toxic on anything was fun, but it was also a it was also a squishy Pokemon, so you know it has a whole lot of speed and a whole lot of attack. And Toxic is more useful for tanky Pokemon. And Salazzle just doesn't have that. Like, there's a few things I'd love to see moving forward. Like, I want to see more double-typed moves than just Halucha's Flying Press. I keep going into the wrong staircase. I'd like to see... I was gonna say triple-typed Pokémon, but that's probably a bit much. Because triple-typed Pokémon would just mean a ton of Pokémon would have either eight-time weaknesses or complete immunities, which is not okay. Wrong staircase. But yeah, just certain things that can do more things. Like, even just a re an entire revamp of a large number of the move sets. Or certain moves in d general. Like, maybe something else other than Toxic that can do, uh, what is it? it? Harsh poisoning? Like, something that m does a little bit of damage, does harsh poisoning, but ticks every other turn instead of every single turn. Or not ticks, but ticks up its damage every other turn. Alright, I'll save here, because I just ought to. Yes, there is a save file, I'll write it. Oh, my back! Oh, shoulder. <sighs> just stretching and popping. Alright, let's give you a go. I love this, though. I can just kind of bypass her and take this random item on the floor. Jupiter. Hi, Jupiter. Challenged by Commander Jupiter. Sent out Zubat. And I think as of the first, I'm going to start uploading the Pokemon Platinum episodes. I need to come up with a background, or an icon for them. A wing attack, sure. Oh geez, you're level 21. Alright, G, HG, you have a good night. Stay safe, have a nice day. Uh, keep yourself safe. And again, thank you for just the extended conversation. I sometimes don't have anything to talk about. Darivia. 243 experience. Nice. For level 18. Wants to learn Endeavor. I'm good without that, I think. Give up on Endeavor. Never give up on Endeavor, though. He is a pretty good... <laughs> hero in the My Hero Academia universe. Hey, Skuntank. Wing attack. Ooh, Night Slash. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. Alright, with Skuntank, you are a poison type, so Shellos, help me, please? Also, after this, the next area I go to, I'm gonna start catching more Pokemon again. I think because I get Chimeco pre-evolution? Oh wait, no. If it's pre-evolution, that means 
I don't need to go after it. It's gonna tank to use poison gas. Shellus is poisoned. Mud bomb, shell attack missed, hurt by poison. That sucks. Smoke screen. Smoke screen, you cheaty, cheaty, cheaty. Yep, show us his attack. Missed again! Mud slap, then. If you're not gonna be able to hit me, or if I'm not gonna be able to hit you, you're not gonna be able to hit me. Oh, come on. You're just gonna keep doing this, huh? Mud slap. Come on, mud slap, please. Alright. Uh. Inferno, then. We're gonna burn him. If this doesn't work, I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah, I got Flame Wheel. That's even better. It's a physical. This should hurt. Or not. Maybe I made a mistake. How much damage are you doing? A lot. Flame Wheel again, then. Burn, please? There we go. Oh no, that's a berry. Restore its health using citrus berry. Flame wheel. Night slash again. Of course. We're at, we're at that point where my luck gets turned around on me. Inferno fainted. Uh, Luxio, then. If anything, Baneri is going to survive this. Is going Baneri's going to get the final hit in. I I need some speed. Eep. Oh mother fuck you game. You knew that was gonna be a critical hit, didn't you? Come on. Quick attack. Hit as many times as I can get in. Use poison gas, of course. Eh, that's not so bad. Weasel was poisoned, hurt by poison, yep. But it's gonna night slash me next turn. And it's just gonna knock everything I have out. Water gun. Come on. You're just not doing any damage. Alright, quick attack, you're fainting this turn anyways. Let's get the last hit in. It seems like Baneri's not gonna survive this either, which is not good for me needing Baneri to level up, or to evolve. Alright, Baneri, give it what you've got, I guess. Frustration. Smoke screen? Okay. I forgot I had frustration on Baneri. Accuracy fell, frustration. Please keep hitting for hard numbers. Okay, quick attack. I just need to hit twice here. Critical. Night slash, come on, survive. Closing my eyes, closing my eyes, closing my eyes. Uh, survived. Baneri, quick attack. No! That is bullshit. <laughs> you cheaty friggin' game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, we're gonna give that.